Part 10. We are going to continue with word problems involving linear equations. You will find this on page 113 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus on problems on money. Example 15. A man sells a certain number of foals at 20 Namibian dollar each and double the number of foals at 25 Namibian dollar each. If his total income is 700 Namibian dollar, how many foals did he sell altogether? Now, remember, always state what X represent at the beginning. So X foals at 20 Namibian dollar each will be 20 times X. Remember, if it involves money, I have to multiply this two. So double, so double will be 2X at 25 Namibian dollar. So 2X times 25 will be 50x. Now, all together, that means if I add it, he makes 700 Namibian dollar. So I simplify, I divide 70, and I get the value of x is 10. So he sells, remember, 10, if you put it in there, let's just write, that's 10, that's 2 times 10, 20. So he sells 30 falls altogether. Okay, I want you to do the following one. Um, try now 15. You can just do number 3. So you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. A man leaves 1,800 to be divided between his wife, son, and daughter. The son receives twice as much as the daughter, and the mother receives 400 more than the daughter. How much does each receive? So always first read it once just to see what it's all about. Now, if you must start classifying it, you're going to say, okay, there is a wife, there is a son, and there is a daughter. Okay, now let's start. Uh, which, which one will be the smallest one? So if we see... Uh, his wife, son, and daughter. The son receives twice as much as the daughter. And the mother receives 400 more than the daughter. So it looks like the daughter is the smallest. Okay. So if the son, uh, the son received twice as much, so the son will receive two times X. Uh, and the mother receives 400 more than the daughter. So 400 more means plus. Okay. So that means if I add up all of this, I must get, get the sum total of 1,800. So let's start adding it. So it's going to be x plus 400 plus 2x plus x, and that's going to give me an answer of 1,800. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to add this to plus 1. Okay. So it's 1, it's 3, it's 4, so I'm going to have 4x. That's 1,800. Uh, what am I going to do? I subtract 400, I subtract 400. So if I subtract 400, so then I have 4x equals 1,400. So I divide 4, I divide 4, the value of x is 350. Okay, now let's just substitute. So this is 350 plus 400. And that will be 750. This is 2 times 350. And that's 700. And this is just 350. So now just end with a nice sentence and say, The wife received. 750, the, the son, uh, 700, no maybe in dollar, and the daughter, 350, no maybe in dollar. Okay, let's look at the next example. A boy has three times as many 20 cent pieces as 10 cent pieces. The value of his money is 14 Namibian dollar. 
How many coins of each kind does he have? So what is this? 20 cent and 10 cent. Now let's just read it again. A boy has three times as many 20 cents. So which one is the smaller? The 10 cent. So make the 10 cent X. And then three times X will be three X. So basically, I'm just going to say then 10 times X, so that's 10 X, three times, three X times 20. Remember, you have to bring in the value of the money. So that's going to be 60 X. And remember, this is in dollar and this is in cent. So convert this dollar to cent by multiplying it with 100. And then I will get 1,400. And then this is 1,400. Then simplify it. And I get the value of X is 20. So he has 20 10 cents, 60 20 cents. Okay. So basically it's just there, the 20. 3 times 20, that's where the 60 comes from. Okay. I want you to do the following one. Uh, do you try now? Okay. Do you try now 16 and do number 2. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. I just want to make space. Okay, let's start. Um, try now 16. Uh, number 2. A girl finds that a girl finds that he has, oh, it's not he, let's call it she. She has 20 more 5 cents than 2 cent coins. Okay, so it looks like 5 cent and 2 cent coin. If the total is 1, how many coins of each does he have? So I think what we can do, we can change this to a boy. And if it's a boy, then we can keep it he. Okay, so what is the two things? It looks like 5 cents and it looks like 2 cents. Now, let's just find the smaller find. It has 20 more 5 cents than 2 cents. So, it looks like this is the smallest. So, he has 20 more. So, this will be X plus 20. Okay. So, now, remember to take the money. What is the money? It's that 1.91 and multiply it with 100 to make it cents, so it's 191. So basically, if I'm just going to add, remember, don't forget to multiply, to multiply, to bring in the value of the money. So it's going to be 5x plus 20 plus 2x, and that's going to be 191. So this is going to be 5x Plus, okay, as soon as you say um, 5 times 20, this is going to be 100. Plus 2x. And that's going to be 191. So 5 plus 2x, that's going to be 7x. This is going to be 191 minus, remember, that one goes over. If I want to, I subtract 100 and I subtract 100. So this is going to be minus 100. So it's going to be 7x, and that's going to be 91. And then I divide 7, and I divide 7. The value of x is 13. Okay, but don't forget, this is going to, let's just make it red. So it's 13 plus 20, and this is just 13. Okay, so if I end, okay, this is going to be two, um, 33. Can you see? So I just end with the sentence and say there are 13 two cent pieces or pieces and 33 oh uh, no there are yes there are 13 two cent pieces and 33 five cent five cent pieces and that's my answer okay Let's look at the next one. Next page. Now, this one, it's more or less the same. So, a collection of the 63 Namibian dollar consists of 50 cent pieces, three times as many 10 cent pieces, 
and five times as many five cent pieces. How much coins of each? So exactly. Note that the coins uh, are in cents, but the collection is given in dollars. So you remember to multiply it by 100 to get, okay, um, to get cents, and remember to multiply the value of the coins. So let X be the number of 50 cents, okay? And then the 10 cents is three times as much as 3X10, and then it's 30, and 5 cent, uh, and 5 times, so 5 times, five, uh, 5 times X is 5X5 five five cent pieces. So if I add up all of that, I will get that 6300, zero zero, and I just divide, divide, and I just end with my nice, with my nice sentence. Okay. I want you to again stop the video and I want you to do try now 17. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I start. A collection of 26, now just remember that that's cent. So 26 will be equal to 2600 cent. Okay. Consists of 50 cent pieces, 3 times as many 10 cent pieces, and 10 times as many 5 cent pieces. Okay, how many coins of each kind are there? So what was the cent? It looks like 50 cent, um, 10 cent, and 5 cent. Okay, so let's start filling in. Which one is the smallest? Consists of 50 cent. Okay, so it looks like 50 cent is the smallest. Make that x. 3 times as many 10 cent, so 3 times x. And 10 times as many 5, so 10 times x. Okay, now just remember that I have to multiply the value of the money. Okay, so that will be 50x. Okay, let's just take another color. That's 50x plus 10 times 3, so that's 30x plus 50x. And that's going to give me an answer of two six zero zero so 50 plus 30 plus 50 that's going to give me 130 x two six zero zero divide 130 divide 130 the value of x will be equal to 20. okay so then uh, just take it back and so this is 20 this is 3 times 20, which is 60. And this is 10 times 20, <coughs> which will be 200. So end with this sentence by saying, there are, are 20 50 cent pieces, 60 10 cent pieces, and 200 five cent pieces. And that's your final answer. And this is the sums on money.